Okay, number one. I have to say, first of all, choosing three things is extraordinarily, extraordinarily difficult, naturally. Uh, and I'm not sure the ones that I've come up with, whether they're because they're influential, but they're certainly things that have been a large part of my life. The first of these is The Three Masses by William Byrd. In particular, the mass for five voices. Uh, William Byrd was an English composer in Elizabethan times, at which point the country was Protestant and Catholics in the country were being persecuted and it was actually quite dangerous, particularly to be um, high up in the country if you were a Catholic because you were regarded as a threat. Byrd was a court composer and obviously he wrote, wrote church music for Protestant services but at the same time he wrote masses. Masses at the time had to be performed completely in secret and uh, there would be maybe only five people at a mass. The priest may be included in that. And obviously, when it comes down to it, the purest, uh, the, the purest of all musics is the voice. It's a little bit extreme, but uh, voice is where music starts, I believe. Way before I um, became a singer or was working in, in rock music, I was originally a, a boy soprano when I was at school, when I was eight or nine, and the, my first real experience of, uh, wow, music can do, can do that, was when I went up from the little school to the big school. I'm not a Catholic anymore, but I was brought up in that way. We went up to the big school to sing the Hallelujah Chorus, and up until that point I knew that there were sopranos and altos, and that was it. Suddenly to be in the middle of a big choir where there were basses and tenors, and uh, uh, it was absolutely the first time I felt, music can do that. So I remain a big fan of, of uh, ecclesiastical music in general, particularly those big choirs, because there's you know, something massively uplifting about a big choir. Um, I haven't sung in a choir since I was at school, and obviously I kind of prefer kind of the solo voice these days, but it's exactly, it's the stringent reverse of that that happens in the bird mass that I think is, is, is so fantastic. It's really just down to the ab absolute bare minimum. So what Burr did was wrote masses just for five voices, for the available people there. So to have unaccompanied music of quite a degree of complexity that's been written to be performed in secret is uh, at the same time an act of great faith in humanity, also of great devotion, and Simply, the music itself is sublime and places you very close to the spirit, I think, in which he was writing. Absolutely fantastic work.